one it needs to be doing around 400 for it to actually be for it to actually be useful and what i mean by that is if it's doing around over 400 damage you can kill people with around eight bullets and then you'll be able to actually do something as long as it's under three it's not really doing that much damage the sincerity it's it's funny it's every gun is just weak enough not to be effective <laughs> Lost Dreamer is one of the very few because I have it at level 20. It's one of the very few. The Wraith is pretty solid. It's just, again, it's just, it takes so long. You have, what is the ammo on this thing? You have 16 ammo. You have to spend so much ammo to kill one person. It's crazy. Uh, it's like, imagine playing a... Uh, a first person shooter and then you wind up having to to spend all of your all of your ammo um have to spend all of your ammo shooting at stuff like you you actually empty clips all the time on your on opponents to take out one opponent every time it's really really difficult there's a game that plays like that, Shadow Gun Legends, in the arena modes. There's these like mini bosses in there, and the mini bosses feel like playing against regular players. <laughs> it's like it's it's trying to find a wave of like 50 or 60, and then there's like these mid bosses that are in there, super strong things that it takes about three or four minutes to kill, running around, grabbing ammo. <laughs> <laughs> heavy ammo so you can hit them with sniper shots because those are faster it that plays a lot like what this plays now this it plays like the arena mode in the high levels all game long which is kind of weird <laughs> that that's that's what it plays like i mean it's an interesting idea but yeah, super weak primaries is just not cool. And it, it, it it's it's just not logical to buff everything and then say, you know what, with the primary weapons we're not gonna touch them. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Because the reality of it is once I'm in high levels like this, a new person starting with a weak primary is going to die. And their heavy is not going to do enough damage to to arm my my tank build my tank builds are going to be much higher level so they still won't be able to kill them with weak primary so the idea of weakening the primary so much that you're stopping people from blowing people up you're not really stopping me as a high level player from 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 blowing you up i have high level weapons i can still do it i have mods i can still do it when a person first starts the game Super weak primary, no mods. Most of this stuff don't have mods at all. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to crush them with my super strong guns. Like when I play this build, it's much stronger than most builds that I'm playing right now. Once I hit, once these things are in the 20s, are you serious? Like this is not even going to even be challenging. It's sort of like when I play my level 20 build, like stillness is okay. But if I was using shiver shroud <sighs> my freaking um easy would be hitting almost 4000 or high 3000 4000 per every shot that i send out that's how much damage the shiver shroud with its um legendary spectacle mod does so yeah it's it's kind of weird man like i i mean it's a very strange strange thing I understand what they were trying to do, but the idea they claim was to make fights last longer. Then why did they up the the damage requirement on the creeps too? Why does it take longer to kill a uh, dreadnought? Why does it take longer to kill an uh, overseer? Why does it take longer to kill a guardian? I thought fights were supposed to last longer with people, 
why are fights also lasting longer with with um with bots i mean or 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 creeps i don't get it like logically that doesn't compute 